Oh, yo, what the heck is that? There's something there. Here. Or whatever it is. Oh, holy <sighs> So we just found that now, guys. It has the symbol. I left Jessica's ashes somewhere in this valley of the damned. I heard that. What the hell was that? Oh, what the heck is that? Yo, there's something like right there in the tree. It's like a mask. It looks like a tree with hands. Do you see that? I can't see? believe we just, I just walked past these. Like, okay, so Brayden just caught these footprints going up this. Oh, yo, dude. Yeah, there's something here. What is that? It's like a shoe with a note. That is creepy. Whoa. Okay, I don't really know what this is. Welcome back to this next exciting adventure of Rananonaga. Guess who is with me that you guys have been uh, waiting to see for a little while? Hi guys. It's BS Lost! It's BS Lost. How's it going? <laughs> We're back at it again. We're doing Rananonaga. You guys told me don't go alone. I brought a friend. He's back. He's better. He's well. Everything is great. It is a beautiful sunny day. We know we lost a tooth in the process. Yeah, he lost the tooth. He's doing better. Little scuffles, boys. Oh, man. Little scuffles. So we ran your first intent. It's actually brought us to an area we've never, ever been. Um, we have been at this location, though. But for those who are new to the channel, I definitely wanted to show them a beautiful, beautiful piece of Canada. People actually travel from other countries to see this location and a few others. And honestly, even standing right here and looking out this way, this place is amazing. It is amazing. We've got cliffs and caves today, so I wanted to show you guys that. But anyways, guys, the merch store is up. Cursed Urban has finished the merch. We have merchandise. So we have merchandise the 31st. It's coming out and it will be broadcasted on this video. Not broadcasted, it'll, it'll be in the post below. So you guys will come back to this exact video Come back to it on the 31st. The merch will be here. I'm also going to do a live stream to help promote it. We have some great stuff. We've got um, a, a couple hoodies. We've got some t-shirts for you. So definitely come back. It's going to be showing. If you guys have trouble finding it, you can always message me on Instagram. I do get back to you right away. But anyways, be sure to smash the like button. Hit subscribe. We have a lot more coming for you. Subscribe to B Gets Lost. Let's yes. go. Here we go. Dude, we have blue skies. I know. Blue skies, bro. You know how long it's been? I haven't. I've barely left the house. I'm Anxiety, like, stress, depression. Look, we have blue skies. We have sunny day today. I'm, ac I'm absolutely hyped today. This is so nice. The sun is in my eyes, like, hard, as you can see. Oh, freak, yeah. Well, so there, there's a couple areas that Brayden won't step. He does. He is a little freak. Like, there, I, it is, like, heights and things like that. So understand. just mind that. Some heights I'm good with. Yeah. This height is not one of those. Well, and it is winter time, and I do know there is I'm like slip. In the snow. <laughs> exactly. And I just got these, and they're already wrecked. Oh man. Yeah. Oh well. So we're gonna show you guys this beautiful uh, viewing platform, and this looks over like Orangeville. It's this is funny. So Orangeville is actually that's my uh, birth town. I was born in this town, um, Orangeville, and uh, this is uh, where we are right now, though. We're in like the Shelburne Mono area. I used to be, uh, my dad used to take me here as a kid, but look at that beautiful view, guys. This is insane. How do you guys do this? You just stay here and look out over these heights and you're fine? That's, that doesn't make any sense. Bro. I don't know how I do it, dude. I just do. I, I stand I'll do a here zoom like, in here. I'm fall, and that's, that's the end of it. Yeah. But. Damn, I'm telling you. I'm gonna come out a little further. People pay good money to come up here and see a lot of the sites. Um, we do have some beautiful provinces, uh, way better than Ontario, though. Oh. We literally have what well, we have. We got Alberta and BC. Dude, Nova Scotia. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. Is it I beautiful like, there? I went to Halifax for my dad's graduation. Yeah. He got his MBA from Dalhousie University in Halifax. 
So, I went for his graduation. I've never experienced like whale watching, dolphins. That, You're joking that me. And, like, catching starfish with your bare hands, which don't do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't. I did it once, and they were like, "Stop!" <laughs> <laughs> but you go, and it's just like honestly. Big shout out Peggy's Cove. If you've never been, oh, wow. you have to go. It's like okay. this lighthouse on like layered rock in this small village. Yeah. It's so peaceful. Bro. Well that's sick, dude. It's so like you see So maybe this. maybe that's a province we should hit, eh? Yeah, we should go to Nova Scotia sometime. We should check Guaranteed. it out. We'll check it out. But you see us doing stuff like this. Oh, wow, it's so it's adrenaline based. You got airplanes and stuff all over the place. Where and is it? Go to Halifax, it's just it, out to Peggy's Cove, it's just low key. It's nice. Wow, this is so cool. Dude, I'm so excited on today. This is I'm so excited. And what people are gonna like, so I'm a huge Zelda fan. And the um this cave cliff oh, area. I'm al already slipping slide. <laughs> although it's small, although it's it's not like large, large, it is so damn beautiful and it makes me think of the ice cavern temple in Zelda. From so, Ocarina of time, yeah. yeah, from Ocarina of Time. So, like, there's that. Check that out. Stay clear of cliff. We got cliff edges, things like that. If you're cool with it, Braden, is it cool if I show them the cave at the bottom? Yeah, I might, cause like I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore it from the bottom. Right here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. What I might have you do though, cause I did forget to grab my O light out. So once we get to the railing, I might uh, actually you might be able to grab it out of my backpack. I can grab it out of your backpack. Okay. Yeah. So apparently there's this um, locking strap that comes on and off. I want to get it because okay. I hate I hate this little holster thing. <laughs> it's it's jokes. Um. So those that do know or and don't know um so me and Braden are in a band we just finished Ooh. our fifth single so that'll be something that we'll also promo and show you guys as well coming out stillborn i am proud of our work i'm proud uh, this one blew me away this one was all him too like literally he did the guitars and the drums on this um and then Brett did the other parts, so like there's other guitar parts and synths. So this one's pretty awesome. This is actually the first like professional feature. Cause I mean, you were on the, the matches demo, but this is the yeah. first professional feature that he's on and then the rest of the album, of course. Yeah, it's so gonna be wicked. It's gonna be wicked, guys. You guys will have to come see our band play. Yeah, come see us live sometime, and then we get members to do that. We may hit, like, one day we may hit nearby states, but right now, it's like, we are more of a Canada agenda. We're Canadians. <laughs> we love our own country more than, like, I would love to see other countries. It's just the fact of, like, it's a lot of money. You know what I mean? Traveling elsewhere. All right, so I'm about to show you guys this. And yeah, like if you, it's up to you whether you want to come down this or not. one of the ones I don't think I should do. Specifically yeah. Specifically because I'm wearing Skechers and this is an Oh yeah, staircase. and it's totally up to you. Like if you feel like coming down later, you can. I'm going to check out the caves if I feel and like just see it. Away, I'll meet you down there. Okay, my G. But if you want to show them the caves, I mean like, yeah. Do it up, buddy. <laughs> I'm doing it up, bro. They're gonna check out this winter masterpiece down here. Are the walls, like, the rock walls covered in ice and stuff? Oh yeah, that's why I said it's like the uh, temple from uh, from Zelda. <laughs> he has to see it now. <sighs> yeah. Holy shake. I know it's literally like the ice temple, dude. I don't know how they do it. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. This is just so cool. You can see down the cliffs and everything like that. I use the Olight here just because it actually is darker. Even though my camera has good uh, low light, it is a little bit darker. Look at those cliffs and everything. It's just awesome. And there's the other side here. Yeah. 
So these uh, cliffs and caverns, they're literally billions of years old. So this would have been here since like the prehistoric era. It's so, like I call them like the Jurassic Park, uh, basically the Jurassic Park cliffs. But look at that, guys. It's just absolutely breathtaking. I really like it a lot. So I'm going to check out the one cave at the back and show you guys. And then we're going to meet Brayden and we're going to hit the rest of the uh, the rest of this stuff. i got to be very careful. I don't know if I'll do this today. It actually looks a little bit dangerous. I might have to do the cave another time. <sighs> Let me see. We'll see how ballsy I am. We'll see how deep this is. It just looks a little bit deep and dangerous. So I'm just going to check it out. And then after that, me and Braden are going to hit the rest of the intents we have. Because this is just kind of a showing. Holy mack. Alright, Braden, just give me two minutes. I'm going to just check this cave out. Oh, look at the ice. Oh. Whoa. I'm not sure how much of this. Oh yeah, there's footsteps here. So somebody's been here. Wow. This is what exploring is all about, guys. Taking in that. I wanted today's uh, rando to be a bit of an adventure as well as rando. So that's kind of why we're doing this today. Like I said, I do what I want. <laughs> and there's a cave up here. Might as well see the ice cavern, eh? Oh man, look at that. I might even surprise Bredo if I climb that thing. Holy mackerel. Going into the ice cavern, folks. Wow, look at that. Very icy. Oh. Whoop. Don't hit your head. Ah. Whoo! Don't ever do what I'm doing right now. You might die. Okay, here we go. Whoo! But look at that. We literally have some crazy, crazy caves here, guys. I'm just going to dim that so I don't blind myself. Some of the craziest caves that I've ever seen. Ice caverns. I've taken some beautiful photos here that I've showed my pastor. So, yeah. I'm going to try to climb this thing. I know I shouldn't, but it's kind of who I am. Okay. I might have to turn that off just for a quick sec. Just for a quick sec. I wish I had gloves though. This is pretty icy. Oh, okay. Don't ever do what I do because a lot of this stuff is really, really dangerous. But I'll show you what I can. Uh, it all depends if I feel safe doing it or not too. Because I mean, ice is different story. So. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can get up. Ah. Woo. All right. I think the rest is easy. Okay. Leg here. Boost the light. 
Here we go. We're going to climb our way back to Braden. Hey, Braden! I'm coming back up, baby. I'm climbing this cave. <sighs> Woo! Oh, look at that. So we're at the top right now. I should be able to get there. I'll turn this around here. People don't know my exploring side, and this is definitely a big part of it. I love climbing things. I'm not really that scared of heights as I used to be. All right. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Don't ever try this at home, guys. We are a ways up. I'm not sure how much of this I'll climb. Because like I said, it is very dangerous. Ah! I think that's as far as I'll go today. But as you guys can see, we're about three quarters of the way up. I don't want to go anymore because see that slide right there? That little drift right there might kill me. So that's the cave. So we're going to go back down now. Woo! Better to be safe than sorry. And as you can see, that's quite the drop. So what we're going to do... Okay, so that's the soft serve right there. I called that the soft serve ice cream. And even if I fall, I can still uh, use this thing. As... Look at that though. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, okay, here we go. Down. I'm a little nervous of this, but I think I'll be all right. I'm gonna put my feet here. Yeah, don't do this in the winter. I think that was a little bit stupid coming up this thing, but I think I'm okay. Okay, here we go. But there, we just explored an ice cavern today. At the start of Arano. Oh wow, the air smells really good. Okay. Whew, that is beautiful. All right, I'm coming down. Crunch, crunch. These shoes just aren't sharp enough to do the uh, top of the cave. All right, we're back. Woo! <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Excellent. I'm going to put that back in my pocket there. So there you go. You got to see a little ice cavern today. Alrighty, so we're gonna meet Braden back up there. I apologize, I couldn't make that climb. You have to make best judgment of things like that because it is dangerous. So if I know I can't climb something because of the hazard area, I won't do it. I am a climber, I can't say I'm a professional climber, but I'm not afraid to climb and I know how. I kind of taught myself walking jagged. Yeah, look at that. There's another cave right there. Another cave that goes right up into that peak. So there's lots of areas. But I know Brayden and I, we want to uh, continue doing rando. So let's get back to him. All right. Woo! Ugh. Let's go back. Okay. Up this way. Ah. All right. Ah. Ah. 
All right. So now we did some explore. Let's do some rando. All right, guys. Let's go back up. We'll meet Brayden. And we will continue on to the new point. Because that's definitely something that we, uh, we want to see. Whoo! Hopefully he wasn't waiting too long for me. Just wanted to see that cave. <laughs> oh wow. This is beautiful. Freaking beautiful. <sighs> Sorry on the wait, dude. I was actually trying to climb that cave to come meet you. And then I'm like, that's too dangerous. Like there's some icy slopes I couldn't take. Yeah. Where'd you go? Like, I tried to come up that cave. I tried to come right up and spook you. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I heard you coming up there and then I heard you turn around. Yeah, it was too dangerous. There was about snowfall, so I was like, I hope he's okay. Oh, that was uh just walking over the thing, some snow fell down. Yeah, I thought that's you. Oh, maybe. I fall down into the cave. And I only know that because it was like really clear at first, and then as it got deeper into the cave, it echoed. It's dangerous, yeah. Like I was like, I can't, I'm not really experienced with ice climbing, so I just thought and I was like, okay, he's good. He's alive. All right, so we've... I was gonna say, it is so peaceful up here. It's so beautiful here. It's like, absolutely... I can't wait, dude. Like You were in the cave, and I was just standing up here in silence. Taking in the views. The view. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm honestly loving it today, every bit of it. I don't think we'll need the O-Light anymore. We're kind of out in the day, unless we see another area that's dark. Yeah. But yeah, we locked in one of your intense guys. So we're going to go up the way and see what that is. Woo! <laughs> I thought I could do it. I was like, uh... Cause you know how, like, if you see a flat, uh, like almost like a slide of ice, you know you can't climb that. No. Like it would, it would have been something where I could have fell and hit my head. So. You need like rope. Picks. <laughs> it's funny because I had this comment the other day, and they're like, "Brad, you're you're just you're so crazy," and I'm like, "Crazy like a fox." <laughs> Pretty much. It used to be crazy, dude. Yeah, I know. I just, I love adventure. I don't know. It, it is what it is. <sighs> Not the adventure is crazy. I'm just crazy. <laughs> we all are a bit. Uh, we all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> yep. Oh man, I can't wait. This is exciting. It's been a while since we've uh, randonauted uh, together for in a while, so it's good to get back at it. I always tell people, I'm like, I have so much more fun when Braden's here, <laughs> being all by myself in the middle of the darkness or wherever I am. It's just, yeah, it's too, I don't know how I do it at night, dude. Like, just your suspicion of like, either being hunted like an assailant or, you know, animals. Because animals are dangerous too, so. Yeah. Yep. Or if they feel cold at all. Oh, yeah. No, this place is cool. Yeah, if I had a sharper footwear, I would totally, uh, totally do it. Like, what are they called? Cleats or something? I know there's different climbing shoes. Yeah. I know clean. I think those are actually made for what, like football or I don't even remember, but you can climb with those pointed metal tips. Yeah. Yeah, this is a total I've never been down this trail. This is all new territory to me. Yeah. So I've got this one first in my phone. I think what I'll have is, I'll have you use your phone for the second part, Brayden. So we can uh, lock that in for the second intent. Wow though, I'm really happy to see blue skies again. Like holy mackerel. Yeah. 
Yep, nothing better than daytime shooting. People are telling me that too. They're like, you're getting yourself in too much danger. Go during the day. Call Braden, call Tyler. I've called Tyler many times. He just bails all the time. So it's like, I don't know what to do. He sleeps in a lot. But it's funny because he told me to be up early uh, yesterday. And yeah, he just, I guess he slept right in. He'll sleep until 5 p.m. I've never seen anything like it. I think he games a lot. <laughs> I mean, like, I used to game too, so I was kind of like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, right now it's looking like a plain trail, but you never know. I always say just keep on trucking, man. Oh, it's beautiful here, bro. Yep. I'm checking my phone. I think we're coming up to it shortly. Let's just check it. The uh, first coordinate. Is it on like either side of the trail? I think it's on. Okay, let me check. Yeah, it's on the left hand side. And I think it's at the bottom of this little slope. It should be like somewhere in here. And then we can check. Oh, I'm out of breath <laughs> from climbing. <laughs> I'm a madman. I don't know why I tried to climb all the way to the top. I thought like, okay, this, like I got, I made it this far. I was three quarters up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, I heard a moose while you were down there. Like a moose no the way. I didn't see the moose. Okay. But I heard a moose. Maybe we'll see a moose somewhere distance. on the way? Maybe I don't know. I'm not really excited to meet a moose. Yeah. But if we do from a distance, cool. I know people have horses, so I know like there's there's horseback riding, but I don't know if they do that in the winter. That was a moose though, 100%, because I thought it was out at first, and I was like, no. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, so... Roughly where you're just about to go, it says it's the point. And it's funny because I see like a little, it's yeah, almost like a path. I think there's a trail. Let's see. Yeah, so it says that it's down this way. What was that? That was a bird. That's wild, eh? That a grass beak. All right, let's go check this out. I don't know what's down here. We'll let you go grab it. All right, bro. Like I said, Skechers. Oh yeah, I don't want you to get wet feet. Once you get wet feet, that's that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know if I see anything. It could be, it might just be dud though. All right. All right, so I'm walking. Luckily these, even though they look like shoes, they are boots. Luckily I can uh, climb over this stuff. Oh yo, what the heck is that? There's something there. It looks to me just like a mound of snow, but I think I can see something on it. I don't know if it's an animal or what it is. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go check it out. What's that? Oh, is it like a seashell? Okay, so I just found this right now. Just kind of nesting on the uh, the rock here, or whatever it is. Oh, holy! Sh so we just found that now, guys. It has the symbol. And there's a note. Yeah, I'm gonna show this to Brayden. Is anybody out there? It's dead silent during the day. Don't see anybody. It's so weird. I keep finding this symbol. I kinda didn't expect that to find that here. These places are distanced away. Yo, you know how I started finding that crosshair? 
to do with this whole Zodiac marbles thing? I I just found this this seashell with the mark on it and a note. I don't know what it is, but I'll have to hold on to this to check this thing out. It looks like it's a tape to that. I'm not sure if you can pull it off or not. I'm getting sick of this stuff though. Like I really wish that I'd find something not to do with evil or crazy people, you know what I mean? Let's see if we can hear the crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, they're laughing. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Hold on, hold on a sec. Hello? Have we have you lost your marbles? That's actually weird. You can actually hear yourself. Have you lost your marbles? You can hear yourself. Have you, have you lost your marbles yet? Calling Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones? Hello? What is this, anyways? It says, I left Jessica's ashes somewhere in this valley of the damned. I heard that. What the hell was that? You heard that, right? Yeah. What is that sound? Does it say anything else, bro? No more riddles. Can you find her? No more riddles, detective. Since you keep figuring me out, how about you put your money where your mouth is? With the crosshair again. So this is this crazy guy. Okay, well, we'll have to be careful if he's up ahead, but I did hear that sound. That is what I heard that I thought was a moose. That is not a moose. That's something, yeah. I think I'm gonna it take. Sounds like a monk. I'm gonna take this with me. That's for sure. You wanna hold my cami real quick? I'm gonna yeah. put this in my pack. Definitely want to gather as much stuff as I can. Keep the notes. Anything that I can give to the police to do with these people because they're sick. Sick in the head for one. I'm trying to get it to do it again. Hold on. It's coming from that direction. This is funny too. Always have people being like, oh gosh, runny you know nose the in the people cold. People try to say like, oh, you've got stuff in your bag and blah. Look at my bag, bro. It's an empty bag. I have this bag empty so that I can carry things if I find them. Yeah, it's just for <laughs> gathering. And my camera, like, there's nothing in the bag. We bring empty bags for gathering the stuff we find oh, if we yeah. find anything. You know what I mean? Well, and a lot of stuff we keep. Like I've kept things. You see that? Look, like, what was that sound? I don't know, that's why I'm like... That's why I'm like, what the hell was that? I have heard whistles in the, um, in the woods before. Like, that's... That's been an ongoing thing, too. You know what I'm I mean? led to believe the whistles are something... Okay, so we found one thing so far. It's funny, because I didn't even reach my point. My point was actually... It was actually further up that trail. Um, no. So, like, oh, it just kept going. I just don't want to go any further in case I'm going to get attacked. So, what I think we'll do, get your phone out. We'll set the next coordinate on yours and do some vlogging. So, we'll get that going. And like I said, guys, from now on, we're going to pop in. Um, I'm always going to showcase one intent at a time because I've had a number of viewers saying that you put so much up there, Brad, that it's like we don't know if any of these sunk or did what they were supposed to do with the whole quantum physics and things like that. So what we're going to do from now on is we're just going to use one intent proper way and um, just see if it does um, drum up something. I don't even know if this was it because like I said, like I my point was further. I heard the sound again. Yeah, that's weird, bro. I mean, it could be an animal, but at the you same know what time, that is? drop it in the comments because that is a cool noise. Y yeah, it is weird. It's almost like a, it's almost like you know, a tiger chuffs. Yeah, it's like yeah. Like a cat purrs, it's like that, but it's like a whooping. I mean, I'm not much nervous anymore because I think it is just an animal, but that was creepy, eh? That that's definitely an animal. Mm -hmm. But like for a second there, it kind of creeped me out. But as soon as I heard like, yeah, see, that's. An animal. <laughs> so All right, that, brother. You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm following you now. All right.
follow you with the phonesies. See where this leads us. <laughs> the sun is beautiful today. We've got a beautiful sun here today. Lots of stuff going on at home. I have had people ask about the baby. She's doing well. She weighs 10 pounds. She's getting chunky, <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> it's good when a baby starts gaining weight because she was really, really little when she first came. So, oh wow, look at that. You're about to see one of the most beautiful um, Ontario, Canada forests. <laughs> like this place has a lot of views online and um, it's just breathtaking I've never been down this trail <laughs> ever <laughs> so it was like when it did sink down this way I was like we're just gonna keep dropping coordinates and like see what 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 this entails brings us I know, this is really cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, I am a little worried with the whole crosshair thing. I haven't actually seen anyone in a while. I mean, obviously, we are being targeted. I mean, I did tell you on the way here, the blood footsteps, that was, that was bad. I mean, that that really got to me. I didn't see the guy. I saw a balloon because he popped the balloon. He was trying to get my attention and then I couldn't see him. So I couldn't, I didn't want to go and try to attack. Did you hear it again? Oh, is it a person? Oh, okay, it's just a person hiking? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I saw that too. I was gonna like, oh crap. <laughs> I know. Okay, so the next point, Braden's saying it's on the left hand side here. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll check it out, bro. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Yo, there's something like right there in the tree. I did see something. I don't know what this is. It's like a mask. That's weird. Is there anything written on it though? Okay, there's nothing written on it. It's just kind of a mask in the tree. That is creepy though. Yeah, dude, like it's like a jester with like a stitched up mouth. Well, I'm not going to touch that thing. It's just creepy as all hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that one alone. I don't know what it is. I mean, it looks like something from like another culture or whatever. Mm -hmm. So anyways, guys, I think we're going to run another intent. We'll go on up ahead. All right, guys? Yeah, like, I don't know. Well, I mean, isn't a jester to do with clowns and stuff like that? Yeah, so, like, a jester would have been the clown of the court, but also jesters were known for their mischievous little deeds. Oh. As well as, that looks like an effigy. So that's kind of how, like, the whole Joker... Do you know what an effigy is? What is that? You know when someone puts someone else's head on a spike and leaves it as a warning? That's an effigy. That's not good. That's what that reminds me of. Do you think it's, like, a death kind of warning, or just... Definitely dangerous. So uh, okay. We might want to... We'll be careful. Yeah, let's keep moving. I'm glad that we've seen out. other hikers, though. So, I mean, like, if yeah. we were... It makes me feel a little safer knowing that there's other people in here, and it's not just us that could be targeted. Yeah, like, if there's other people here during the day, I can't see this dude or his brother trying to attack us. That's kind of why it shows daytime, so... Yeah, no, I don't... Oh, see wow, look at like that. A, uh, I don't see it being a major deal right now. Yeah. That is definitely a, a warning, dude. Oh wow, look, it's like a forest house, Raiden. Yeah, you're leading the way. <laughs> I was just like all excited about this nature. I know, right? Like, look at all this over here. 
Holy mackerel, this looks cool. Yeah, see, there's people like Angelo, they fall in love with buildings. I fall in love with the outdoors. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like nature. One, there's no asbestos. Yep. Asbestos is man made. Yep. So you, you're not going to inhale that stuff. Exactly. Two, look around you. It doesn't get better than this. Honestly, like they said, I've read this thing online. The healthiest people on earth, the people that live the longest, do what we do. They hike. Yeah. They literally walk. They walk. They're out in sunlight. They're grounded. You know what I mean? Like Walking stuff. Walking is one of the top exercises you can possibly do. There you go. We just cover our butt. We just cover our our butts. You know, we eat enough food just to cover it. Oh, frig yeah. I know. Oh, there's like a little bridge here. I think that used to be water or something. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. So I guess this is like a little stream that goes under this. Let's go kind of climb with this thing. I'm gonna do a jump. Woo! <laughs> That's cool though. Yeah, and I guess the water like comes down that and goes Wait a over here. Does mm -hmm. that mean there's like a body of water at the top of this mountain? I hope so. That would be sweet. Cause like I'm down if there is. I know. We'll check it out, bro. Yeah, let's go. All right. Woo! I'm like a little kid, so having a kid is pretty exciting because they'll be like, "Daddy, you like you always want to play," and I'm like, "You're damn straight." <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going now? Is it like off trail? Do you know? <sighs> okay. Wow, this place looks sick, Brayden. I know I haven't seen any more caves and stuff, but like, it does look really, really cool. Okay, following Brado. He's he's got the map, so. I like that too because having another guy, you can have them use the map and you can focus on two hands on the camera. I I keep putting the map away because I have low circulation in my arms. Oh god, I have the same thing, dude. So, like, my hands get so cold, I'm like, okay. Time <laughs> I have to get a B12 away. shot every month because I have that, I don't know, I'm low in a blood cell. I don't know if it's white or red, I can't remember. You guys would know. I tend to forget those little things. <laughs> I just know that I get one. <laughs> Oh man, this is so cool. I was hoping to see a little nature. It would have been cool to see that moose you were talking about. That would have been cool, actually. Or even deer. Like, especially like from a distance. Because getting up close to personal is dangerous. Yeah. They do not like people. Oh, moose? No. Oh. Uh, they don't mind you if you're like not causing a ruckus. If you go to touch them, they will friggin' end you. Oh, okay, so they are like territorial type or you something? You a moose with a car. Your car will collapse before the moose does. Oh, so brick house, eh? Yeah, they are brick house. Holy they're, smokes. And they're massive. <laughs> massive! <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll make you bet there's a body of water up there. Yeah, that would be super cool. And I think just up here is a point as well. Okay. Yeah, it's sorry. Kind of close. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's head up a little bit. I'm really excited about summer though, dude. I know we can really take like rando full tilt and find new places that are farther. Yeah. That's another thing. I, I try to tell people like they want to see brand brand new locations, but like a lot of places close in winter. So we have that. Oh wow, dude, that must be the lake. Look at that over there. Holy smokes! Look at that, Brayden. Okay, so this must be the lake here, and it's all frozen over. You could tell nobody walked too much further. It's all flat. They didn't want to go any further in case it was deep. So I know. Oh, wow. 
hear it cracking. I it's know. Like... That'd be cool if you were allowed to fish here. <sighs> Look at that beautiful sun, though. Beautiful sun and sky. I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel really good, too, being out in the sun. We really needed this today, eh? Yeah, dude. So, well, and they say that, like, you know, being in darkness all the time, that can egg on, like, you know, negative feelings and emotions. So, being out in the sun was a good idea. A lot of the subs were mentioning that. You guys got to be out in the sun and get it sunlight, so. Yeah. But, yeah. That is 100% true. I really don't want to find any more marble stuff. That stuff just creeps me out, man. Around here, I think, somewhere. Okay. Got, I still am getting used to the app. Yeah, I know. Well, and I mean, you you took some time off, so it's like you jumping back into it. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, the range is. Mhm. Mm well, not only that, reception's always buggy out here, so it's it's on and off. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm skipping between one bar and zero bars. Right yeah. Now. So, like, I'm doing my best to navigate this. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it kind of gave you the idea when we were up on top of the trail, so. Yeah. Yeah. So let's head down here a little bit. All right. Just keep an eye out, because, like, I am getting a little buggy, because we are deep in this forest. Oh, yeah. I mean, if this has to be the last one, it's fine. Hey, bro, I wish I could show you the map right now. It was all white. <laughs> that happens to us too. I try to tell subs like, depending on where you are, you can lose reception. So you kind of have to like take a screenshot and kind of, okay, the train kind of looks like this on the map. Like I grew up walking through forests, so I look mm. for trees like that, and I remember that like something like this. Okay, it's got a stick here. That's how I get back. Yeah, pretty well. That is how same I get back. thing. It's the not markers. A good way. <laughs> markers don't help me. Like squares and triangles and things like that, they don't really do anything for me. There's a shape on a tree, and I'm like, what does that mean? When I see a, a random stick in the middle of the forest, I'm like, okay, I have to go this way. Yeah, or like a birch or things like that. I try to tell people too, we actually have a lot of medicine in this country. Um, Canada is home to the chaga mushroom. Yeah. Which they're saying that, like so help, the it can chart. fight cancer. Do you know the butter chart was actually invented in Barrie, Ontario? No way. Dude, the butter, the butter tart is like... I'm I'm a the ultimate dessert, dude. I always tell people this. I'm like a sucker for grandma's desserts. Oh my god. You know like grandma desserts, like you know those little uh grandma makes a chocolate eclair? I'm in. <laughs> you know Warther's original? Those little caramel things? Oh. Pumpkin pie, blueberry pie. Um any pie you could possibly think of, grandma's got it. <laughs> Okay. Words from the master chief right and here. And if you want one, all you gotta say is three little words. Yeah. Pie please, grandma. <laughs> Simple. Yeah, Make there's... sure you get the please in there or she'll be like, I raised you better than this. And then... <laughs> exactly. Uh, so jokes. <laughs> pie please. I my out. I do. And you know what's funny too with their subs? Like, I have like... There's so many people that like... You know, they're they're older, um, and a lot of them tell me, like, oh, I'm a grandma to so-and-so, and I'm like, Good. I don't know what it is, but I've always, I'm always been a grandma's boy. So yeah. it's like, they'll talk to me, they're like, oh, keep warm and stuff, and I will have full-blown, full-blown combos with them. My best friend in this entire world is my Nana. Yep. And, like, I don't know what I would do. If I didn't get the wooden spoon once in a while. <laughs> yeah. but, oh my god, the love that woman has. Yeah. I'm the same thing. Like, my grandma, she, my grandma was kind of like a mom figure to me. Like, I, I'm just, I, I was just, I just adapted to her. Like, the humor, all the times, like, yeah. helping each other clean the house. Like, we just did everything Garden together. Stuff like that. Well, and even got my artistic side from her. My grandma wasn't into film, but she was a painter, a singer. Yeah, you were telling you, me that. Yeah, yeah. So the singing came from her and things like that. My grandma, she just loved art, so. See, I just like. Yeah. I used to garden with my nana. Hell yeah, I did that too. Now she's got an apartment, and we can't garden together. Yeah. So like. Did she grow veggies too? My grandma always grew vegetables. Yeah, that's what we gardened. Oh, that's we had sweet. A vegetable garden. There was a flower garden. There was fruit bushes and stuff. It was nice. So you pretty well live the same life as me, my G. Like that's literally that's literally the same thing. It's wild how human experience coincides like that, dude. Oh, freak yeah, bro. Now, where <laughs> is this item? 
<laughs> I know, because we seem to come across a lot of items when we do this. Am I being duped here? Like, yeah. Is there a point to no item again? We might have come across a dud. So, like, is it is this it, or is it a little further up? I don't know. I can't read the map. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. It went out. Well, we'll walk up ahead if we see anything that's cool. Yeah, I'm, like, totally out of service, Yeah, so we did lose reservice, guys. Reception. So, we're just going to keep an eye if we see anything. If we don't, we don't. that glare in the sun. Oh, yeah. Dude, that seashell did. I'm keeping that, too. It looks like kind of cool. If I can wash that stupid evil crosshair off of it. That's my favorite part of snow, dude. If you look at the sun, you see it sparkling, the reflection off the snowflakes. Yeah. And they just do it individually. It's so... Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's just that aesthetic, dude. It's like the sparkly little, like, ethereal aesthetic. It's so cool. One thing that's super Canadian, too, people... I try to. T I, I haven't told people this, but, like, they should do. Um, you get a Canadian maple leaf, and you get a piece of paper... And then you can uh, take a crayola crayon, crayon and get like this, and it traces it. All the veins all the on it. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. And it makes a little imprint of it in your paint. Yep. And then you take your fall colors, and you just do each one. Welcome to Canadian preschool art. <laughs> it sticks with us. It really does. We put, ca we put Canadian maple syrup in our coffee, eh? <laughs> I ride my polar bear to work every night. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? If you got a problem with it, I'll force it so hard, you'll have to renew your health card. Bro, what the heck is that on the tree? What? Oh, you don't have hands? It looks like a tree with hands. Do you see that? I can't see? believe we just, I just walked past these, like, completely. Okay, so Brayden just caught these footprints going up this way, and there's, like, monster hands on a tree, which is a little strange. What are they, just gloves? Yeah, it's just, it's just a little glove. What the hell? Let's see. They look it's like rubber. little Halloween gloves. Yeah, it's just a rubber glove. So we just found this, like, on a tree. Now that is quite the way to clean your dish. <laughs> You're gonna use these? Jeez. Dude, but your hands will get all wet. Look, they like have this like cut in the middle oh, of it's it. It's just a design flaw, you can tape that up. Well, you can just take that. No, all right, I'm gonna open, see. Alright, bro. Okay, I'm gonna check this out here. Cause there's like footsteps coming up here. It's coming up into this tree. Oh, yo, dude. Yeah, there's something here. What is that? It's like a shoe with a note. And then it says, Rebel. Little heart. It looks like a piggy bank. What? It looks like some sort of piggy bank, yeah. Is there, what's the note? What's on the note? I don't know, we'll have a look on it at the trail. This is weird, dude. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Like, I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't have something to do with uh, the marbles thing again. I'm gonna pull this. Pull it out. Nice and slow. Oh. Yeah, it's a United States penny. Yeah, it has like a little cross on it. Yeah, there's the target again. The little wheel of... The wheel of lions. We keep finding this stuff. It's weird because it makes me think of Geo, not Rando. What is this? Time to pay the ferry man. The ferry man? Like, which one? Is it Karin or Chiron? No, it's Karin, I think, that rides the river Styx. Yeah, is the fairy man the one, like, if you die or something? Yeah, in Greek mythology, the fairy man would be Charon, or Karin, or however you pronounce his name. Oh. He is the fairy man of the river Styx, so he carries the souls on his ferry, his boat, and he sails them down the river Styx to their destination of judgment. Oh, okay. Put I pennies on some... your eyes and pray it all goes away. Sorry, what was that? I just interrupted you completely. Oh, no, I was just going to say, like, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I have found Greek stuff before, and I have found, like, biblical stuff that kind of deja vu, you know? Is this a poem? Time to pay the ferryman, put pennies on your eyes, and pray it all goes away, you only lived a minute of your life. I must be dreaming, please stop screaming. That's creepy. 
Does it say anything else? Let's see how this dude wrote it too. It all it's all like manic and like. Yeah, yeah like he wrote it a certain way. Like that is eerie. That's not cool. I don't know why this dude keeps messing with us, man. I... And we found a penny. I'm getting a bad feeling. I am too. We're gonna have to be careful going back. It's just. I don't know. I get the sense that we're being watched, you know? Did you see that? What, did you see something down there? Yeah. What is it, another hiker? No. Too fast. And it was running across the trail. Not, is that even the trail? I think the trail keeps going, yeah. Like straight? Well, oh, I yeah, read straight? a sign that said, so well, we passed. So you see that tree all the way at the end that kind of divides the trail? Yeah. Past there, I just saw someone book it across this way. Oh, frig. So they're, that. yeah, they're they're literally doing this. So they're either organizing or I'm playing tricks on my own mind. No, I believe, yeah. I think that they're probably orchestrating this thing. No point in yelling at them. They're probably gone now. Well, there's no chance we're surrounded right now. But yeah, that's weird. If we were surrounded, we would have noticed by now. All right, well, we'll walk back this way. We'll keep vlogging just in case. Yeah, let's... But I think that we did enough for today. The phone has lost completely reception, so yeah. we can't really set any more intense guys. Have to read the trees to get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Because like some forests you'll get to, you will lose reception, and there's really nothing else you can do at that point. Yeah. So we can't really set any more for points for y'all. Yeah, I just sent a message like 20 minutes ago. It's still failing this time. Holy smokes. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll just head back. I'll just vlog a little bit more just in case we see anything. Oh, wow, look at that. I really wish those trees weren't in the way, dude, because... This would be amazing. amazing it would be an amazing view, yeah. All that stuff's in the way. <sighs> okay. For sure, bro. Wouldn't mind, I kind of got a bone to pick with them. Yeah, I know. I honestly, I wanted to catch this guy. I was so fired up on adrenaline. And like I told you, the bloody footsteps made me really, really nervous. And I didn't see the guy, but I heard the laugh. And like I've told people many times before, guys, I'm terrified of clowns. I'm scared of clowns. Yes, I want to get these guys. I want to catch them. But at the same time, I still have that kid fear of clowns like it's a phobia i have a phobia of them yeah. i don't like them if this guy was on the top of a building mm -hmm. whether he was a clown or not I still wouldn't go after him well and when i was little like my cousins would put on horror films to do with clowns stabbing people so i've had the fear ever since then i've oh, always been afraid of them like oh yeah well i mean that's new but like yeah, yeah like, like films like that like stabber like flicks right yeah. nightmare on elm street oh, like i don't God. like I don't like horror films, to be honest. Oh, yo. I love a good horror film, but a good one. You know I mean? Yeah, like, I like... One that's been done 10,000 times. Yeah, like, I like thrillers and stuff like that, so I can yeah. say that, right? But... Thrillers, suspenseful movies. <sighs> yeah. Um, Sci-fi. I like some supernatural movies. Some of them are very cheesy and hokey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw part Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. It was pretty good. No. Yeah, it was cool. I watched Talk to Me, and that one really messed with my head. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but that's like... That's, like, <laughs> that's another story, that's folks. That's story for another time. Uh-huh. I mean, I like this shoe thing. I'm going to examine it when I get home, and I'm going to open it up and just see if there's anything out. I am vlogging again tomorrow, guys, and you guys will see that in this video. So, you know... I think that's it though. Like I really think that I think we got fun, something today. Yeah. yeah, we got some cool stuff. Get back to this clearing so we know we're safe. I'm not willing to wait around to find out what traps they've got planned for. Yeah, well I mean I don't really feel like it just it just feels like they're kind of chickens at this point. I mean they're they're putting things in places and then they're running away. Yeah, they're playing chickens. Yeah, like, it's almost like we're just being duped to find things, and then, like, that that seems to be their game plan. It's drawing us in. Yeah. 
But anyways, guys, um, I am vlogging tomorrow, so this is the end of day one. We did find some things. We saw some cool sights. So, yeah, be sure to uh, smash the like button, hit subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to B Gets Lost, um, his channel. I'm, I'm sure he'll be back filming again since you've been getting better. Yeah, I'm feeling better. We should be good to go soon. Yeah. So, yeah, look for all that, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, Randonautica Army. I'm on day two. Um, we have been finding some really, really strange things regarding this symbol that I keep finding. And just as a sequel to last time, I'm hoping that I can find more. Um, it did lead me back to this abandoned railway, and it's wild because they actually ripped out the um, the the railway itself. It's all gone. Which is really a shame. So I'm guessing they're just keeping this more park friendly. And they're actually trying to transform this. They might even pave it. But yeah, the old railway is actually ripped up. As you can see, there's pieces and stuff. Now, I think this has led me farther. The point looks like it's somewhere that I have not been before. So this is why I'm coming up this way. As always, guys, I've dropped your intent below. Um, again, be sure to grab yourself some merch. We have merch out. The store is up and ready for y'all on the 31st. Guaranteed 31st for this video and plenty of others. We're going to have it listed on the site. I'll definitely do, uh, I'll definitely do some stuff, uh, live stream, etc., just to pr promote it some more. Make sure you guys know how to find it, how to order. So that is coming on the way. I have spoken to Braden a little bit. He's been sick. So I'm hoping he comes back to work and we're able to film together. It's been kind of rough going it alone, but you know, it is what it is. I try to go at daytime the most I can. Sometimes I go at night just for the fear factor, but we'll get some good views today. It looks like they put some protection on the bridge too. I kind of like that. They're kind of getting this thing going. It looks like they'll keep the bridge, but they'll maintain it and take care of it and all that. All right. So now our point is like way up here. I'll tell you exactly when we turn and all that. All that regular jazz. I've had many questions regarding how we uh, don't hold our phones as often. And it's mainly because it's just impossible. I use two hands to carry the camera. I have the phone in my pocket. I pull it out now and then just to see where the turnoffs are. So there we go. And as you can see, it's starting to melt. So this is all melting again because our weather has just been topsy-turvy, but look at it out that way. <laughs> topsy-turvy. That's actually an intent that we just used uh, last video, so. Oh, wow. I can remember not long ago it was either summer or getting towards fall where I saw a cult stalker right down here. So like I said, the, the, this, this episode and the last are blast of the past episodes. We come back, hit these locations to see if there's anything of interest. And we've been turning some stuff up. Been getting very, very lucky. It's funny, I've talked to a few subs that are actually um, ex-police officers, detectives and things like that. I think that's really awesome. I actually always wanted to be a detective when I was little. And I just wasn't very book smart. However, I'm pretty good at problem solving and doing things like that. Not every type of puzzle I can solve, but I mean, there's different expertise, right? Okay, so I found notes down that way. Wow. Look at that lake too. The lake goes all the way around. Be nice to take the boat out that way. Be really cool. All right. I'm gonna pop the phone out of, my, out of my pocket in a few minutes because I just want to make sure where I'm turning off here. But I'm checking it out because I mean, I always find new trails and things like that. There's another trail, trail that goes down that way. Let's have a look at that actually, shall we? Take a little peek at that trail going down. 
Oh, that's kind of neat. See, some of it goes on to people's property. That's why I never want to just um, veer off. But I'm hoping that this point is not on somebody's property. Because otherwise, I won't be able to explore it, even if there is something good there. Lake's all frozen over. A lot of people like to uh, dog walk here. They've been doing a lot of maintenance, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what they do with this place. What they do with this park. And those trees have been split. Right. Well, there's more down that way. Beautiful, beautiful places. That's another trail going down that way. That's interesting. It says my point's not on a trail or anything. It's kind of it's kind of off in the bush. In a couple minutes, I'm gonna get the phone out, check that out again. Okay, let me just see. Oh, I think I might have passed it. Yeah, yeah, it says that it's in here. Okay, okay, cool. Get my screen. Again, if this is on somebody's property, I'm gonna have to turn back, guys. It says that it's just up here. Okay, let's come up. Okay, so the point's just in this area here. You have arrived. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, hold on a second. What the heck is that? There's something right there. What is that? That is creepy. Whoa. Okay, I don't really know what this is. So I just found this right now, guys. Leaves all over in her hair. Someone was hiding this thing. I just hope it's not like cremation ashes or something creepy. I think I'm gonna get my gloves to inspect this one, guys. So one sec. I don't know what it is, but it's given me a bad feeling, so. Let's just put the camera up here. Get it listed. Lifted, listed. Gosh. All right, let's see if I have my gloves today. Last video, I did not have gloves. It was really stupid of me. I don't know why I did that. We should be carrying these more often. It's funny, I bought these, uh, well, I didn't buy them. The wife bought me these police gloves because I've been pricked by needles and things like that before exploring. So, thank you, babe. I have these. So that's good. I'm well, gonna check this box now. I'm just a little bit nervous. I am here during the day though, so that's a good thing. All right, what is this? Okay, let's pull this forward here. Sorry guys, might just have to set this down for a moment. Let's see if I can get her. heck is this? Okay. Was it Chinese food or something? Some sort of food in a bag. Oh, yo, there's like fortune cookies. That's a little weird. Oh, hold on. There's another tape recorder. So we found another one of these little tape recorder things. 
I'm gonna check that out at home. I don't like playing these out where I am. What the hell is that? There are two live rounds in here. That isn't good at all. There are two rounds. I don't know what kind of bullet that is, but those are live. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna have to take this with me and give this to the cops, because you can't have that sitting around. So I just found um, two live rounds. What is that? Um, okay, so that's a 17 HMR. It's kind of like a 22. These are actually smaller. These are used to hunt um, coyote and things like that, which is really wild. So, yeah, that is disturbing. So we found that. And there's some sort of note here. Oh, hold on. Here we go. There's the target right there. Sorry, I'm really nervous right now. I'm finding stuff again. So like I said, like we keep coming up with stuff from the intents that you guys give us and it's it seems to be working. I'm just gonna unfold this note. Last thing I wanna do is get prints on this kind of shit. I'm really glad that knife was in the bag, but unfortunately I ran in such a hurry I didn't collect everything, so it's probably still out there in the woods or Whatever guy chased me got to it. Oh, hold on. Okay, on the back here. Let's see what this says here. Okay, so on the back of this note, it says two slugs for two thugs target. And then this says too slow, better, ne better luck next time, detective. Until we meet again, a shadow in plain sight. Wow, that's messed up. Not that I'm like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know if there's some sort of messages in these things. I know they're still wrapped, but let's have a look at these as well. Just to make sure I'm not missing any clues because some people and some criminals are really smart at coming up with stuff. I've noticed that, like they're very, very clever. And these brothers were, were clever. Okay, so actually, you know what? It's gonna be hard to prop the camera up here. Let's just put it back on that log and then we can go through these fortune cookies. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. I am taking this with me. There's things that you just don't leave and live rounds is one of them. Anybody could get hurt, a kid could get hurt. Adults could get hurt too, just farting around. All right, so we're here, and we're just gonna check out these uh, fortune cookies for you, see if there's anything else. Now, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, um, so these astrology symbols, these uh, zodiac symbols, are they part of the Dragon New Year? I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure that this is the Dragon New Year that's going on right now, so that, probably could explain more of this zodiac stuff popping up now I don't know how fortune cookies have anything to do with any of this but we're gonna see if there's some hidden messages in here all right so we got the first one here this says keep in touch with your feelings three four five ten forty two forty four so I'll just show you guys that you guys might not be able to see it. I'm just trying to show you that I'm not lying to you. That's what it says. Okay. Oh, okay, so we're on to fortune cookie number two. Looks pretty normal so far. This one says... Others see you as a wise person. One, two, three, nine, sixteen, forty-two. Again, this is appearing normal. Maybe this was just put in here as an effect. I don't really know. All right. God, I'm getting cookies everywhere. 
Gotta put these in the box. Everything's normal so far. This one says, good, thing com good things come to those who are patient, who be patient. 6, 12, 19, 24, 34, 48. So again, these look very, very normal. These don't look very uh, disturbing to me. I like to check everything. And as a detective, I mean, if I was a detective, obviously I've been feeling like a detective. Angelo has because of all the things that we find. Um, I like to be thorough because I'd like to, I don't want to miss anything. If I find something that's linked that I could probably give to the police that's important, I would like to do that. So that's why I go through every little piece because everything is evidence. You know what I mean? Like at this point, everything is evidence. We don't really know if it will lead to any avenues, but we'd like to hope so. So anyways, we're going to this next one here. Again, everything looks pretty normal. You'll accomplish more if you start now. 320, 27, 36, 39, 49. So again, guys, these were all normal. The rest of the uh, package was uh, obviously the more disturbing part. But anyways, um, we're gonna review this. Uh, we're gonna review this uh, tape recorder message for you in my house. So back at home, where it's nice and safe. It is about to get dark fall, dark again. Um, like I said, in the winter, we get dark very early here. It's already 4 p.m., so I want to get this out of here. I mean, I did find live rounds. I don't want a kid or anybody to pick this up. I'm taking this home with me. So, anyways, if I don't see you and I play that message back for you just as a little recording, um, I love you guys. Um, the support's been awesome. We've got merch. Be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We'll have more for you next time. All right, guys, Exploring with Brad out. Listen to me carefully, detective. If you ever wish to see your wife and son again, you'll do as I say to the letter. Meet me at the coordinates I've sent you and come alone. Bring along with you the $2 million as I have requested at 2M Sharp. If I do much as catch a glimpse of patrol units, I have two more rounds just like the two you've encoded in my package that I will personally fire into both your wife and son. Be a good boy and follow the rules sincerely. A shadow in plain sight. Ta-ta for now.